Hello friends, Informative Blocks here. In this video, we will set up the environment for learning Python. First, we'll install the PyCharm IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which gives us an environment to write and manage Python code easily. So let's begin. Now, we're going to install the PyCharm in our system. First, go to Google and search for PyCharm. Then click on the download PyCharm link, or you can get the link in the description of this video. As you can see, here is the professional and community version available of the PyCharm. We'll download the community version of PyCharm. Because it is free and built on open source, the professional version of PyCharm gives you a free 30-day trial after that, it will stop working. Now, click on the download button to start downloading. When PyCharm is downloaded, start the installer. After that, follow the steps. Click on the Next. Next. And here check the box Admin folder to the path. It allows you to execute PyCharm slash Python binaries tools from the command prompt by just writing their name. Then clicking on the Next and hitting the Install button to start the installation. It may take some time to complete. After it installs, select Reboot Now and click on Finish. When your PC restarted, then search for the PyCharm and start it. After that, select the Do Not Import settings and click on the OK button to continue. You can see the welcome screen. Here you can create a new project open an existing project, and also check out a project from version control. Let's create a new project. Here, you can take any name for your project. I will name my project Python Tutorial. After that, click on the Create button. When a project is opened, you see the main window divided into several logical areas. On the left-hand side, there is a project tool window that displays your project files. An editor on the right side, where you write your code. It has tabs for easy navigation between open files. And tool windows on the bottom of the workspace, which provide access to the Python console, Python packages, terminal, and many more. Here, main.py already has some code. Write here your name instead of PyCharm. Then on the top of the window, click on the Run button to run the main file. And congratulations! You have successfully executed your first program. So, that's all for this video. In the next video, we will see the difference between compiler and interpreter. Subscribe to Informative Blocks for such videos. Thanks for watching.